Buddy here, back with yet another headphones video. If you are subscribed to the channel, you would know that I put out three other very premium headphone reviews this month. If you aren't subscribed, hit that big red subscribe button down below under this video so you can stay updated on all of our great content. I've had these headphones for quite some time now. I did an unboxing video of them, but it wasn't too good even though the unboxing experience was wonderful. Most of the time, if you would see someone with these headphones on, the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, they would be black. But I chose to get the white version because I had black with Red Beats Studios before, and I didn't want to get another pair of black headphones. And these white ones really stand out and look really nice. I'm torn though on whether the white version was a good choice or not, because even though you may think your head or ears aren't that dirty, they are. Now, I'm a regularly showered guy that hasn't mowed the lawn in these or worked out in them or anything else and they've gotten kind of dirty from just simple wear. Everything about these headphones can get dirty quite easily from the bag to the plastic sides. It's a bummer, but just don't look at them too closely and you'll be fine. I do wish they included a black carrying bag, so at least the bag could get a little bit more dirty, but they didn't, so oh well with that wish. After some time with these, I got tired of the plain white design and wanted some colors on it. I contacted Colorware, a company that will custom paint devices for you, and asked if they could color them for me. And they said no, because they don't offer that device to be customized as it is. So after a while though, my wish was granted by another company called Dbrand. They make skins for devices and they release the M50X skins. I did a video on these skins and comparisons if you want to check that out. I immediately, brought, I immediately bought the skins and got the plain black and red skins for the inner logo and the outer band and then the brushed titanium for the outsides. I applied the skins and I must say, it made this product a thousand times better to look at. It looks stunning now, and I can easily switch out the colors and designs if I wanted more in the future. Coming from Beats, these are better in just about every way. They're less expensive, don't require batteries, and are way more durable. These headphones are big enough to wear over the ear and give some solid noise cancellation. The ear cups and the top band are very comfortable and allow for long listening sessions. The sides have a good adjustment and the design is just great about these headphones. If you have a way to control the levels of music, like certain frequencies, bass and treble, then you can get any great listening experience out of these that you want. Just stock with no tampering, they provide great sound that has little to no distortions and sound very true. It, they're very pleasant to listen to and I would say as good as you can get without having to spend more money or invest in a DAC or an amp. They can go for around 130, 140-ish on Amazon right now if you want to pick those up. And they don't, but they don't sound as warm or lively as open back headphones with external power. But for a pair of headphones that you just pop into your phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack, they are top notch. They are fairly easy to slip into your bag and take them somewhere. One gripe I have with them is that the ear cups fold and swivel both ways which can be annoying and hard for people to use your headphones if they do not know how they work and they want to try them on. Another gripe is that they require a special cable that locks in. The, the benefit is that, that they lock in and you won't have to worry about pulling them out. The consequences though is that you can't wear any ca other cable with them, so just don't lose the cable. But speaking of cables, Audio-Technica was nice enough to include three cables. A short, straight cable for the in and out, out and about listening, that's about 1.2 meters. A long braided cable for at home listening, that's from 1.2 to 3 meters and a 3 meter super long straight cable as well as a 3.5 millimeter to 1 fourth adapter. Overall, I love that I bought these. They are probably one of the best closed back headphones you can buy that are perfect for any listening experience. Now, choose your color wisely, but after you do, head over to Dbrand to pick up a skin to go with them. 
Anyway, that's been it for this review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like rating down below. And if you have any questions, comment them down there. Remember, Goober has gaming videos on here. So if you're interested, check them out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.